Sheriff Clark, welcome to The Candace Owens Show. This totalitarian left um, has taken control uh, of, of speech. Okay, they have uh, cornered the market on it. They control the language. What you can and can't say, you can't say it's weird. You can't do this. You have to call it this. You have to, if you control the language, you control the narrative. I just decided to forgive America for the past sin of slavery. You know why? Because the God that I pray to every day teaches me to forgive. The God that I pray to every day extends forgiveness. And if he's going to do that for me, the least I can do is do that to somebody else. And so I, I didn't forget, and I say never forget slavery, but it, for me, it was time to forgive. And you know what, it was very liberating. If there's anybody that I know that could have a chip on their shoulder about racism and discrimination, because he had to live it in the army, right? It'd be my dad. He never harbored those. They same for my grandfather. That is what the insanity is, is I'm like, he lived it. My grandfather lived the KKK, shooting bullets inside of his home. He lived it, right? They, 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 what they did to him, what they, yeah. how they terrorized his family, he lived it. And I've never heard my grandfather say a single bad word about white people. They were always a part um, of, of his life growing up. There, there was never any animosity. So it's just stunning to sit and think that the most privileged black people that have ever lived in the history of the world are black Americans today. Thank <laughs> you.